If you've been using Mac for a while, switching to Windows 11 might feel completely alien. Things look different, but surprisingly familiar. This video is a quick guide to some of the differences. I'll show you how to move your files, get comfortable with the new layout, and find some features that might actually become your new favorites. No pressure, just a smoother way to switch. Let's walk through what it's like to make the move. So first up, your digital life. Photos, documents, music, notes, how do you bring it all with you? Well, there's two ways. If you've used iCloud, OneDrive is going to feel familiar. Just install it on your Mac, sign in and drag all the files you want to keep into it. They'll sync automatically. So when you log into your new PC, set it up with the same account as your OneDrive account. Your stuff will sync over and already be there. The other option is if you like a hands-on approach, grab an external SSD formatted as XFAT. That way it works both with Mac OS and Windows. Drag, drop, and plug it in, and you're done. Let's talk about layout. If you're used to a Mac, you will be used to dock, and you might be wondering, well, where is everything? Well, with Windows 11, it combines dock and menu bar into taskbar. So rather than having a bar along the top and the bottom, it's just along the bottom. It's centered by default, so it will feel familiar to dock, and it's where your apps, recent files, and search bar live. In the bottom right corner, this is where your quick settings for volume, brightness, Bluetooth, and more are. This will feel familiar, but it's moved from that top right corner. So taskbar is like dock, but then with start menu, it's like spotlight search and launchpad built in as well. Try typing the name of an app or a file into start menu. You'll find it instantly. Start menu will show you suggested apps, top used apps and quick searches. Once you search something, it will search through the web, apps, your files, folders, and settings to find what you're looking for. If you have Windows open working and you want to see more than one at once, Snap Layouts lets you organize your screen in one click. Two apps side by side, not a problem. Four apps in a grid, done. This has been a core feature of Windows 11 since launch. So if you've ever wanted a smarter way to multitask, this might be it. If you're a user of multiple desktops, just like on your Mac, if you swipe up with three fingers on your trackpad, Windows will show you all the windows you have open and your multiple desktops. Select the one you want or start a new one. The only real difference here is the Mac shows the options on the top and Windows shows it on the bottom. More good news is most of your favorite apps are already here. Microsoft 365 and all of your favorite TV streaming services have apps. So no more need to use the web. They all work great on Windows and you can create folders for these or pin them to your taskbar. If you're an iPhone user, it works a little bit differently with Windows. Rather than just appearing in dock once you unlock your phone, you need to use the phone link app. This brings your texts, calls, and notifications straight to your desktop. If you're switching from Mac, here's something you might not expect. Your laptop might also be your sketchpad. On Surface devices, you can tap, swipe, draw, and annotate. Whether you're editing photos or signing a PDF, it's a hands-on experience. Have you ever tried scrolling with your finger? It's a different kind of freedom. With Surface Pro and tablet mode, you can fold and detach the keyboard and Windows switches to a touch-friendly mode. It's still your laptop, just a more flexible version. If you've had your Mac for a while, you'll be used to the Mac Voice Assistant. And on Windows 11, it has something new called Copilot. Think of Copilot as a collaborator. You can always ask questions, need to summarize a document, plan a holiday, or answer that question your seven-year-old has asked, but you don't know the answer. Just ask Copilot. Copilot is the icon here on Taskbar. 
or your laptop might have the Copilot key built right in here. For a more in-depth look at Copilot, check out this link right here. If you're a Mac user and you're interested in gaming, Windows 11 opens up a completely new way to play in your free time. Windows has the Xbox app built directly in. You can purchase games directly from the Microsoft Store and use them in app. Or even better, if you have an active PC Game Pass or Game Pass Ultimate subscription, there are hundreds of high quality games you can play directly on your device, including day one releases. Xbox app will even tell you how well the game will work on your device. Now, if your device isn't designed for gaming, if you have the Game Pass Ultimate option, you can stream the latest games to your device without needing to buy a more expensive device or taking up more storage space. So switching from a Mac to Windows doesn't have to be a leap. It's just a step and maybe a surprisingly smooth one with tools like OneDrive, Search Menu and Copilot. You've got new ways to work, create and connect. What feature are you most curious about? Drop a comment, I'd love to hear what you think. And if you've already made the switch, what surprised you the most? Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications. Thanks for watching. Ciao.